Good morning. It is a few days later and actually I've been back to Costco since I saw you because when I initially went I went to go and get their pink Himalayan salt which I absolutely love. The family loves as well. They didn't have it and they told me it'd be back in stock on Saturday so I went back on Sunday and it still wasn't there. So it is now a very, very horrible, miserable, cold, wet, rainy day in London. It is Tuesday and I should have gone to the gym earlier, but the routine is a little bit upside down at the moment because my daughter has her mock exams, which means she's going in just for exams and the rest of it is like study leave. So I think I'm going to wait till about midday to get to the gym because I think, according to the weather report, it's going to be less heavy. It's really heavy rain right now. But by about 12 o'clock, I think we're down to about 60% chance of rain, which just means it's going to be raining, but not as heavy. So that is the plan. And I have put on a whole load of makeup because I want to film some TikToks. In fact, one of the things I want to film is a PR unboxing. I have so many boxes that have come. I'm so grateful, always so grateful for these boxes and these packages. And I think I've already talked about it that I'm grateful for them. I know there's a lot of flack going on at the moment. People kind of going, oh, it's such a hardship. It's, it's so, I think I already talked about this. I'm very grateful for them, but I do need to open them up because I kind of keep them there so I can open them up with you guys on whichever platform. In fact, why don't I see if I can film this both for TikTok and for you guys so you can see all the newness as well. Right, that's the plan. I'm going to see if I can set it up so that I can show it to you here on YouTube but also show my TikTok family. And if you're not following me on TikTok, please do, because <laughs> I'm really trying to get to 10,000 on there and I'm at a measly two and a half thousand. So it would be really good to see you over there if you are watching this. And yeah, let's go and set up the camera, see if I can film it both for you guys and for TikTok. Okay, we have a setup of sorts. Let's see if I can make this work. I have no idea. So for my YouTube family, we are this way and then hopefully I can crop it to vertical for TikTok, but let's see how it goes. But this is the pile of products that I need to open, boxes and packages and very, very excited to see what's in some of these. I have, to be honest, opened some of these already, but so I'm very excited because some of these I really want to get into, try out and get them into my routine. So let's get going. I'm going to start with a couple of packages that I have already opened. I've already started using them because I just couldn't wait. And they've gone into my daily routine already. So first up is a little package from Lumine. It is their new CC cream. And this is what I have on my skin right now. I've been using it ever since I got it. So I have four of the shades. I think there are 10. For me, tan and deep tan are the two shades that really work for me. I either mix them up together or depending on what my skin is feeling and looking like, I'll go with slightly deeper or slightly lighter. But these are really luminous on the skin. You can see and it gives a really nice amount of coverage but still leaves your skin looking like it's real skin. Thank you, Lumine. Another one that's gone into my routine already, but look, before I show you the product, look how cute is this packaging. It's a light bulb. This is from Kosas and it is their concealer, which is now available in 38 shades. I'm just gonna take these off like this, just to give you an idea of the packaging, but I've already broken the packaging. So I've been sent three of the new shades to try along with their cloud set powder and a little beauty blender and if I'm really honest I've actually started using the concealers already. I can't remember which shade it is that I use at the moment but I've been using it every day since I got them. I have it under my eyes right now and because my under eyes are really dry I don't really need to powder these. They set really nicely but they're really hydrating as well and so far they haven't really settled into my fine lines. I know most of you are probably using Kosas concealer already but this is new to me because I've not tried it before and so far I'm really loving them. So thank you for that Kosas. Let's go on to some hair products that have come in. New brands to me. This is from Reset. I have got their hair and scalp oil and their scalp serum. I've already tried the scalp serum a couple of times and it does not leave the scalp oily. So 
That's one of the reasons why I don't normally like scalp serums because they leave your hair oily and you end up having to wash your hair every day, which I just don't do. This does not leave your hair oily at all. You just let it dry, style your hair, and let's hope that it helps me grow back some of this hair here where I feel that I am thinning right now. So that is their scalp serum and a whacking great bottle of their hair and scalp oil. I haven't tried this one yet, but I do need to wash my hair today, as you can probably tell. Thank you for that reset. I'm always looking for nourishing products for my hair because it is very dry. I've also been sent the Nez Hassan oil hair mask from her brand Hair, Gre hair Ingredients. I have tried this once or twice already. I've used it as a styling serum for when I'm blow drying my hair. It is quite sticky. When I first put it on, I thought this is not gonna work when I blow dried my hair, but the results were really glossy, frizz-free hair after I blow dried it. So thank you for that, Nez. Back to a little bit of makeup. I've very kindly been sent some products from Brulee Beauty, which I've heard about I've seen them on Instagram, but I have never tried them. I've taken these out of the box, but I have not taken them out of the package. So let's have a look. This is their Skin Nectar. I'm guessing that they've had to guess my shade. That's what it looks like. It's an SPF tinted moisturizer, SPF 20. <gasps> it's quite liquid. It's more liquid than I thought. And actually, I wasn't supposed to screw that off. It's got a little flip top lid, which... I didn't realise. And I've got way too much on the back of my hand. I think if I had less on, the colour match would be pretty perfect. Lovely and glowy. I'm going to let that dry down so we can see what it's like when it's dry, because obviously it's going to be glowy when you first put it on. It's pretty much dried down now, and yeah, it's still leaving a nice glowy, radiant finish to the skin. And the colour match is really good. I'm in the shade 3. Brulee Beauty is a brand that has been developed and f specifically to suit olive darker Asian skin tones. Hopefully the undertones will all be really good. This is their concealer. Oh, it's got quite a peachy orangey undertone, as you can see, which will work really well to knock back the dark circles under my eyes, which thank you for the comment on my skincare. Someone wrote that I need to sort out my dark bags. They're genetic, I've inherited them, I can't do anything about it. And I certainly don't want to do any surgery. Lovely, lovely concealer. The coverage is incredible. It's completely camouflaged, that blue vein. They've also sent me a couple of their multi mousses, which are tints for their cheeks, lips, and eyes. Blushes are so hard for brown skin, so I'm hoping, I have high hopes for these. This is in the shade Zahari Rose. Looks like it would be really pigmented. Let's just try a little bit. Very, very pigmented. Don't need a lot, but it's very lightweight on the skin as well. That is a beautiful shade. Not shiny just looks like your own skin with a flush. And the other shade that they've sent me is called Durazno Peach. Love a peach blusher. It's a really deep coloured peach. It's got quite a brownie undertone to it. So that's the Sahari Rose and that is Durazno Peach. They sheer out really nicely and it's a really natural flush. Thank you Brulee Beauty. I'm very, very excited to do my face with all of these. Let's get into some of these boxes. Oh, this is from Dr. Pawpaw. I love their balms. They have some really fabulous multi-use balms and they have tinted ones which are great for your eyes, lips, cheeks. They have just sent me their shampoo and conditioner, multi-purpose shampoo and conditioner. 95% natural. Their 7-in-1 does it all treatment. So it's got heat protection, it repairs split ends. I don't think you can repair split ends, really. You have to cut them off. It's a detangler. It's a leave-in hair treatment. It reduces frizz and it smooths. Thank you very much. It's a blow-dry styling and it helps you have a shiny hair. So, yeah, maybe I'll use these now that I need to wash my hair today. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Pawpaw. More hair from Charles Worthington. I don't even know when this arrived. Someone else must have answered the door for this one. It says, please find your Charles Worthington top-ups. I've never had anything from Charles Worthington before, but I'm very happy to try. So we have the nourishing, I need nourishing. This is the Moisture Seal Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. The Moisture Seal Intensive Oil Rescue Mask, which let's rescue these ends. Maybe I'll try this today. Thank you, Charles Worthington. 
It smells like you're in the hairdressers. A very big box or something very light. Spot patches from Mighty Patch. So I've got the invisible ones, the surface ones, if you know those surface bumps and spots and things like that. This is the original from Mighty Patch. The duo, I'm not quite sure what that one is, but thank you Mighty Patch. I definitely need those at the moment. As you know, I've completely damaged my skin barrier because I tried out something that just did not agree with me. So at the moment I'm trying to stay away from anything active, anything too strong, but as and when I need these, thank you trying desperately to keep it tidy but you can imagine the mess that's already down here. Next up we have this beautiful uplifting orange box from Lumine which we've already seen some Lumine CC creams. Oh this is the Glow Renew Night Cream from the Nordic Sea range. I'm a big fan of the Lumine products. I use them regularly. This promises to work on skin radiance, skin tone and skin texture. Actually this is the night cream that I've been using currently. This is also from the Nordic Sea range. This is their Overnight Bright Sleeping Cream, which I'm about halfway through. So it's gonna be interesting to see the difference between their Glow Renew Night Cream and their Overnight Bright Sleeping Cream. But thank you, Lumine. Thank you for the CC creams. Thank you for the night cream top up. Not so much a box or delivery that came in the post, but from an event I went to. I went to the launch of the Skin Sense anti-pigmentation range, their AP perfecting range, and this was the little goodie bag that came home with us, so I thought I would open it up with you. Skin Sense is a brand that I have so many favourites from, which you will have seen before if you follow me on Instagram or on YouTube, anti-pigmentation body elixir. I love this because we all talk about skincare for our faces, and we're not talking enough about skincare for our body. And your skin is your biggest organ. You need to look after it. It protects you from so much. It's holding your body together. And pigmentation on the body is just as much of a thing as pigmentation on the face. Look at the packaging, by the way. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. It's one of my favourite combinations. Grey and baby pink. It's always been one of my favourite combinations. So that is the Body Elixir, the Day Cream. And these are all anti-pigmentation formula. They work on breaking down existing pigmentation and obviously with SPF you will then reduce the amount of pigmentation you start building up. The night cream, the neck and decollete cream, which you know I'm really all about taking care of this area. That's where I get crepey skin and then that tends to get pigmentation, hyperpigmentation. I think this is yet to come out in its new packaging. This is the serum, so if you were to get one product from the whole range, if you just wanted to slot something into your existing skincare routine, Abby, who is the founder of Skin Sense, she would say to you, get the serum first. Bugbear of mine is obviously the dark circles under my eyes. We have the anti-pigmentation eye cream, and then always, if you're working on your pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, melasma, you need to be using SPF. The SPF 50 face fluid from Ultrasun is my everyday staple. It's the one I buy on repeat. They have now introduced the face fluid in an anti-pigmentation form, so this is going to become my new daily staple. Really easy to travel with as well. I took two of these on holiday with me. Obviously it wasn't the anti-pigmentation one last year, but yeah, thank you very much for that. You have to give this a good shake before you use it. And then at the launch I was just talking to Abby and to Deja, and they were saying that the absolute dream combo is the body retinol and the body elixir, which I have not tried the body retinol. So they very kindly sent me the anti-aging body retinol. So the plan is to layer these two after showers. This is the body retinol followed by the body elixir. Thank you, Skin Sense. I love your product so much. And now you've got this beautiful anti-pigmentation range. It's just the dream. Whenever I see these brown boxes with the green writing, I know exactly what that is. New in from Pixie Beauty, the Vitamin Makeup Mist, a Vitamin C, I need to be careful with vitamin C, so I might have to patch test. A vitamin C sheet mask and a vitamin C under eye brightening cream. The blusher in the vitamin C range is my absolute favorite. I'm wearing it today. This is the vitamin C under eye brightener. It says peach on the box. I don't sure if it's tinted or not. Let's check it out. Yeah, it is slightly tinted. Very, very smooth. Anything to hide those dark circles. The other day I went into John Bell and Croydon in Marylebone for a quick 20 minute express treatment 
treatment with Verdilab, which is a luxury skincare brand. I love their microdermabrasion polish scrub. They sent me home with a couple of products, which I haven't looked into yet. So we have, oh, it's a little gua sha from Verdilab. Is it a white quartz? And it's a couple of full sizes. Verdilab is a luxury brand. Prices do match that as well. Oh, this is the Lift and Glow Rose Serum. They're good sizes. I mean, it's an investment, but they are a good size and their products last for ages because they are so concentrated. They're not watered down. You don't need very much. Any colours in the products are just from the natural ingredients. They don't add colour, they don't add fragrance. Yet that smells incredible. A lovely glowy finish to the skin. The Natural Glow Vitamin C Brightening Cream. They actually use this on my skin during the treatment. It's completely unisex as well. So if you wanted to share this with your other half, keep it out on the basin, on your vanity. Thank you, Verdela. Also recently went to the launch of a new range from Jolique, an Australian skin skincare brand, all natural, mostly organic. They grow most of the ingredients on the Jolique farm in Australia. This is their new herbal recovery range, Biphase Serum, which you can see there's two layers on there. So you need to shake that up before you use it. I tried all these products out at the launch. They are just divine on the skin. Perfect if you've got sensitive skin, which my skin at the moment is very, very sensitive. This one is really exciting to me. This is the eye oil. It's in a little roller ball, and I love the idea of an eye oil. I've been using an oil balm under my eyes as well. So this is an roll-on eye oil. Very lightweight to go under the eyes, but really, really moisturizing. If you haven't tried an eye oil before, I really urge you to try one because it's just incredible for the under eyes, really hydrate. You can feel it plumping up the under eyes. I think I have a little sample size here. This is of the face oil and I have a little sample size of the day cream. And very excitingly, we got a little sneak peek of a new product, which I'm not quite sure when this is coming out. I think it might be April. This is the first ever SPF from Jolique. It's a SPF 50 UVA and UVB. I have been using this already. I will admit I absolutely love it. It does not leave any white cast and it just melts into the skin as if you are wearing just your favorite moisturizer and it smells so refreshing and yeah, just and it's lovely under makeup as well. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you for inviting me to the event and for the products to try out at home. This is a little top up of a favourite product. I think it was sometime last year I went to the launch of Opalore. It's a new skincare brand that literally just focuses on the health and the microbiome of your skin, which we all know is so, so important. There's just five moisturisers in the range. That's all they have at the moment. I think there are plans for other things as well. I had been using Opalore number four. It kind of goes one, two, three, four, according to the decades of your life. I went for number four and they very kindly have now sent me number five. I just went and got it. At the launch, they very kindly gave me number four, which I've been using. And they kind of say that whoop, number four is meant to be used if you're in your 40s. Obviously, you need to kind of look at the state of your skin and what your skin needs. They kind of recommended that although I'm in my 50s, I should be using number four. So that's what I've been using. They recently very kindly sent me number five to try out. So it's just a little bit richer. They're all called the Brilliance Cream. They're all called the exact same thing, but there's number one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm gonna try out number five, although, as the weather gets warmer, I probably want something lighter. Maybe I use number five as a night cream and stick to number four for the day cream, but thank you, Opalore, for a little top up. I know there's a lot of skincare, but that's what I talk about mostly. So I hope you're bearing with me for that. As I mentioned, I damaged my skin barrier, but way before I had actually done that, just because I've been talking about skin barrier, Balance Me, another natural skincare brand, had sent me their tripeptide plumping cloud cream because it has all these peptides in it which really helps your skin to be feeling plump and help the skin barrier as well. So I've been turning to this quite a bit in the last week just to try and help my skin out. The other things that they sent me very kindly at the same time, it's their Super Berry Cleansing Cream which smells so beautiful. Cleansing balm, the vitamin C repair cream. I have to be careful with the vitamin C. So I think from now on, I'm always going to patch test vitamin C, but that is their vitamin C repair serum. Hmm, I've been sent two of them. Not sure if that was a mistake or not. Either way, thank you so much, Balance Me. And seriously, this tripeptide 
plumping cloud cream has literally saved the day. New in from Wren, who doesn't love Wren? We all, we've all used something or other from Wren, right? This is new from them. This is the PHA Exfoliating Facial. Uh, PHAs are a very gentle way to exfoliate your face. So I am all about being gentle on the skin. You use this on damp skin two to three times a week, massage it gently onto damp skin, leave it on for a couple of minutes and then rinse with warm water. So it's a, obviously in a cream format. I've never had an issue with any I've never had an issue with any Wren products that I've used, so I am willing to give that one a go. Thank you for that, Wren. Who's with me still? I shouldn't let these things build up. That's the problem. Last couple of products coming up. I've been talking loads about all the different toners that I've used, so Evolve Beauty got in contact and asked me if I'd like to try their Liquid Radiance Glycolic Toner. It comes with a little pump attachment that you put into the bottle just to make it easier to use. This is their Liquid Radiance Glycolic Toner. Glycolic acid, fruit AHAs and salicylic acid. Love their formulas. They really think about what the skin needs, but also what the skin doesn't need. I'm looking forward to including that in my skincare routine. And while they were at it, they sent me the new, I'm not sure if this is out yet. It's if it's not out yet, it will be very soon. This is their Age Defying Hydrating Mist, which I'm gonna be honest, is literally the first step of my skincare routine because you know I like to put all the toners onto damp skin, but this is extra hydrating. This has got hyaluronic acid, rose water, and the Resurrection Plant Molecule, which is a plant that survives. I think she said it's in the desert and it manages to survive. So if it can hold on to water in the desert, Imagine what it's doing to your face. So this, I'm already about a third of the way through this. I have been using this. And then they very kindly sent me some top-ups of products that are staples in my skincare routine. I use them every single day. This is their Hyaluronic Serum 200. It's a multi-molecular weight hyaluronic serum. And it's pretty much the same formula in their Roll-On Eye Complex. So again, another little roll-on, really easy to put on. You could keep this in the fridge and the metal tip is so cooling. It's a hyaluronic serum to use under the eyes. Soaks in really easily. Love using this under an eye oil. Thank you so much, Evolve Beauty. You know I am one of your biggest fans, so thank you. And last up, we're going back to hair. Now this is something that I bought on the Black Friday sales ages ago and I've been using, I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet because I was just kind of trying it out, it took ages to get my husband to fix it for me and in the meantime, Hello Clean, this is the brand I'm going to talk to you about, they got in touch and said would I like to try out their shower head and I thought it'd be great to get one into the other bathroom so the kids can use it. This is the Hello Clean shower head and it has a built-in filter into it which removes the hard water elements because I live in a hard water area and also takes out the heavy metals and things like that in the water which can build up on your hair and the difference it's made now my hair was always feeling like straw it didn't matter how many serums and masks and anything it was always feeling like straw never had that shine since I've been using this I really need to do a separate video since I've been using this it has made such a difference to my hair. So I now need to get this one fitted into the kids' shower so that they can also feel the benefits. So thank you, Hello Clean, for this. I did buy the first one myself. I also bought their shampoo and conditioner, but this one was a PR gift and thank you. Phew, I, yeah, I wish you could see the mess around me, but that feels so good to have gone through all those boxes because I've been meaning to do it for ages and it's just been building up and building up in my head. Let me know if there is anything out of all the bits and pieces that I've shown you that you want to see more on in particular. And now I need to go and get ready for the gym. Wow, that was a whirlwind tour through quite a lot of boxes. And the mess around my feet, if I show you right now, it's a lot, I need to clear all of that up. But I also want to get to the gym. It sounds like the rain is calming down a little bit, which just makes it a little bit easier because at this time of the day I'm going to have to park so far away and then to walk down there it's just soul destroying. So maybe I'll have to clear this up after I get back from the gym. I don't want to miss my kind of mental slot. I don't have a slot as such at the gym if you know what I mean but like my mental slot when I want to slot it in during the day. I am doing like I mentioned 
at the beginning of this video, at the end of the last one, a much more of a kind of heart rate training type of schedule. So I'll be doing the sled, I'll be doing some sprint training and then some little bit of resistance work after that. Yeah, I think I'm going to clear this up afterwards. Let me know if there was anything that you want me to go into more detail on. I am going to go with a full face of makeup to the gym, which I always think is a little bit weird. I can't be bothered to take it off now. I'll come home, take it off, shower, wash my hair later and try some of these new products when I wash my hair. And maybe I think I'll try the body retinol and the body elixir as well. I'm going to, I'm going to try out as many of these products today as I can now that I finally opened them up because they've been waiting for so long and I will see you guys in a bit. It's still pouring with rain outside, but if I just use the rain as an excuse, I will never go. So we're heading to the gym with a full face of makeup. I've got my water. I feel like I've hardly drunk more than a glass of water this morning and I can feel dehydrated. So I'll drink a liter while I'm at the gym and then I'll make sure to drink another liter when I get back. I've got a banana to eat with me because I cannot do a fasted workout today. I can do a fasted workout when I wake up and go straight to the gym in the morning but when it gets to midday I need to eat something before it's too long to have gone without eating so I'm going to eat a banana on the way to the gym so that by the time I get there the sugar will have started kicking into the bloodstream and I know I look like a Michelin man in my jacket but I don't care my daughter hates this jacket with a vengeance and I do the school run wearing this jacket just to annoy her <laughs> Okay, let's go to the gym. I really don't want to do this. It is pouring with rain, but luckily I've not parked too far away. So I'm just gonna put my hood up, look like a little goblin as I run into the gym. And I did take off my lipstick because I thought that was a bit too much. Can you hear the rain on the sunroof? Um, yeah, I took off my lipstick. The rest of my makeup is still on my face. Um, I'm just gonna have to go with it, but at least I don't have a full face because the lipstick has been taken off. Does anyone hate cutting onions so small like I do? I hate it, absolutely hate it. I do find, here's a little tip for you, if you have to cut onions, is run them under cold water first. Helps a little bit. Now my eyes are beginning to water, but that was one big onion. I'm just making dinner for the kids. I'm making their favorite meatloaf, and you do need to cut the onions really small, really fine. Oh, can't bear it. So I'm back from the gym and didn't really have the kind of the workout that I wanted. I did the sled, as you will have seen, and then when I got on the treadmill, the manager came over and he was just chatting to me for the whole half hour. So normally I would do sprint training, interval sprint training. I ended up just walking for half an hour instead of doing the sprint training, but anything is better than nothing. So we did that and came back. I've had lunch, was going to go for a shower. I thought I might as well cook before I go for a shower. And I'm in two minds what to do. Do I go and put oil in my hair now so while I'm cooking the oil can start to, you know, kind of penetrate into the scalp? But now that my hands are all oniony, I think I just carry on, get this in the oven, and then I'll go and put oil in my hair. So I'll try and show you some stages of making this meatloaf. It's actually my husband's recipe, which I'm trying to emulate because he's not here. Fingers crossed I remember all the different elements. I've just realized that I'm missing one key ingredient, which is fresh coriander leaves. That just changes the whole flavor and gives it a really lovely zing and freshness. I don't have any, so we're just gonna have to go without. Let's see if I can remember what I put in there before I start mixing it up. So I have about, not exactly, but about a kilo of lamb mince, and then I've added actually one and three quarter onions. I've got turmeric powder, red chili powder, it's all kind of hiding under there, ground coriander, chopped green chilies, 
minced garlic and also dried garlic granules. And now I'm just going to add four eggs and a little bit of olive oil and, oh yeah, obviously salt as well, I put salt. Yeah, hopefully without the coriander, it'll still be okay. It is what it is. <laughs> mixing bit always gets me. I don't know how my husband does it. I think his hands are bigger and the gloves don't come off, but you have to wear gloves because otherwise the turmeric is going to stain your nails. You don't want to get chilly on your fingers in case you rub your eyes. Believe me, I've done it. Um, but yeah, that is mixed now. And normally I would let that marinate for a while before I put it in the oven, but I don't have time. So what I do do is take a little make a little kebab out of it, a little one. I'm gonna cook that just to taste it, see that everything is okay, salt-wise, chili-wise, all of that. If it's not, then I'll make some adjustments, add some things, otherwise that's going to go into the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. It's about an hour later. I still haven't showered. I still haven't put oil in my hair. Just got caught up doing other things. But the meatloaf is ready, so I thought I would show you. So that is it cooked. I had to stop filming earlier because my son came in. He doesn't really want to be in the vlog. But yeah, that is it fully cooked. And dinner is almost ready. That's just the kettle. I'm making some peas and we've got roast potatoes. So dinner is cooked and there's gonna be loads left over. So we've got, I've got to show you, look, I've already got in the fridge some chicken curry that I made yesterday. So there's loads left over of that. And they now have the meatloaf as well. And the reason that I'm getting ahead of myself is because tomorrow we are out all day. I have an entomology appointment in the morning and then meeting a friend for lunch, then I'm going to a makeup and skincare event, and then I'm going to see Dr. Sabrina at her new premises. Oh, I don't know if I've confirmed. Better check the emails, I don't know if I confirmed, but I'm going to go and see Dr. Sabrina at her new premises in the evening. So basically, I'm going to be out from about 9.30 to 9.30 for 12 hours. So I just need to make sure that there's loads of food cooked and ready in the house for the kids because they're at home all day and yeah i'm feeling like an accomplished mama okay dinner is completely ready done i think i'm going to put some oil in my hair before i have dinner and then i'll have a shower after and wash it out and i'm going to try this new one that i just showed you in the unboxing this is the one from reset it's their invigorating hair and scalp oil so let's see, what does it say? Part dry hair, apply the desired amount of oil to the scalp and gently massage in. Finish by applying the oil to the lengths of your hair. Leave on for at least 30 minutes before shampooing or overnight for best results. I prefer to use an oil overnight, but I'm not gonna have time to wash it tomorrow morning. So I think it is gonna be a 30 minutes to about an hour session. And this brush is falling apart. Like literally while I'm brushing my hair, bits and pieces, like the bristles I can tell, are falling out. We use what we have. Oh, it smells lovely. I hadn't smelt it. It's gorgeous. Just apply it to my roots and I section it so that I can just get into the roots and massage it in with my fingertips. Because if you don't have a healthy scalp, you're just not gonna get the hair growth and the healthy hair growth that you're looking for. It's not a heavy oil. It, actually disperses quite quickly into the hair. I think I'm going to have to use at least a couple of pipettes worth to get into all of the scalp. I probably should be sectioning it with a comb or something like that, but I'm just sectioning it with my fingertips. Oh, that reminds me, I need to do my nails tonight as well. Oh, there's so much to do. This is the problem with spending half the afternoon cooking, so everything else just gets pushed to the back seat. Always make sure to do the hair on the crown of your head. It's 
It's really easy to forget to do the whole head and just do the front because that's the easiest bit to do. I'm going to section all of my hair all over and make sure this goes on every part of my scalp. Probably look like a mad woman right now, but this is reality. Now I'm going to part the hair down the middle and take it into two sections and just apply it to the length that way. You can see how light and oil this is because it's not weighing down my hair. Okay, I think that is fully distributed. There's nothing left on my hands. It's all soaking in nicely. It's time to go and have dinner with my daughter. She takes breaks at certain times because she is revising. So she's on a routine and a schedule and I know that she's going to stop in three minutes. She's going to have her dinner. So I go and eat with her. So I'm just going to put that back. And in fact, I think the easiest thing for me to do is to use a chopstick to secure my hair up. There we go. Now, it's dinner time. <sighs> it's a few hours later, guys. I have, and dinner went really well. The kids loved it. It's the first time that I've made that. It's my, as I said, it's my husband's meatloaf recipe and I'd never made it before. I've watched him make it many times, but I've never made it. But it went down really well. So that was good. I even sent him a picture. He's not at home at the moment. So I sent him a picture of it. I've had a shower and now I am absolutely pooped. So I think I am going to do my two red light therapy masks. I have one for the face and one for the neck and the decolletage. And I'm just going to chill out for the evening. The kids are both working on things, revision and other stuff. So it's just me and the cats for the evening. And I think I'm going to end this vlog here because after this, I need to go and blow dry my hair, as you can see just come out of the shower and tomorrow is a busy day and I think let's start a new vlog tomorrow so hope you've enjoyed this vlog I hope you loved seeing all the new in beauty products and also how we make meatloaf it's one of our kind of like family's favorite dishes let me know if you want a proper recipe but it's hard to say the actual recipe I guess because I tend to do everything just by eye, if you see what I mean, but I can work it out for you if that's what you'd like. But I'm gonna get on with my red light therapy and I will see you in the next video. I'm not actually sure if the next video is going to be a vlog or a bit of a sit down video because I want to talk about concealers and foundations that I'm currently loving. I haven't done an update for a very long time, so Maybe that's what the next video is going to be, but we'll see. I'm not quite sure. But for now, I need to get on with my red light therapy. So I hope you all have a lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye.